Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3 Welcome back to our YouTube channel And we are back again with Zone 3 Podcast Fuyo! Fuyo pula <laughs> Hi, I'm Lau Welcome I'm back Evan. And I'm Wee Welcome back to our channel So, uh, it's been like 2 weeks since yeah. Or 2-3 weeks the last podcast, since yeah. the last podcast mm-hmm. uh, So, what, what, have you been, have, have you, what have you guys been busy with? Yeah, uh, since uh, we are at Zone 3, of course we With photo books as well Yeah <laughs> Mm. So much like we, I for me, uh, for today we are going to talk about our recently picked up photo books. So yeah, that's the recent thing for what I I've been doing. Mm, I guess. Yeah. So what about you, Edmund? Uh, I've been working hard in JMBB KL because we opened a new store there. So I work hard, and my boss don't give me a off day. So. I, what do you mean I don't give you an off day? <laughs> <laughs> doing Ryan, doing Ryan, doing Ryan. I work, I work two weeks, not off day. Okay lah, I want to give you a bunch of chow down. But never mind, I got, I got some snack for, for free then. Okay lah. Uh, thanks for working through the Raya. Thank uh, you for your hmm. hard work. Yeah, because in GMBB, we have to open lah. Right? Yeah, we have to open. <laughs> we have to open. Uh, come visit us in our new outlet. Right at the Jalan Robertson, yeah, Jalan Robertson JMBB. Inside JMBB level two. So right, for so me, I think uh, so far, what keeps us busy is JMBB store, uh, mm. and it's good to meet new people there. Mm. It's good to meet a lot of new people, and uh, I think we make a lot of friends there. I think yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the uh, most. Uh, mm. The, the, the important things on the most important things yeah. like we make About new friends having the uh, yeah. JBB and can probably explore more more possibilities to uh, introduce new things to the mm, yeah. to to the community uh. so what are we talking about today I mean we 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 wanted to talk about the some of the recent photo really books picture, that we yeah. pick up so I want to talk about tiny tiny streetwise visited re visited by Mary Ellen Mark so uh, this book is uh, published in. 2016, so like a uh, couple of years back, uh. and uh, what I really like this book is about like this girl named Tiny. His uh, his uh, original name was uh, he is uh, Irin Black Blackwell, but uh, uh, she was known as Tiny. Tiny. So, uh, what makes me what makes me like this book so much is it's about the journey of uh, this person, this girl called Tiny. Who, who, who was the photographer again? Uh, Mary. Uh, <laughs> Mary Ellen Mark. Yeah. <laughs> I, I keep on, I always call it as Mark Mary Ellen. It's like uh, very confusing <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my head. <laughs> this boy has goldfish memory. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, only short term. Only, only, only short, short term. term only short term. Short term. So, <laughs> even, even if when he look at this book every day, he also forgot, <laughs> the, he forgot the author name, forget the subject name. Mark Jenny Mary. Oh, my, my, <laughs> my, okay, my, Mary my, Jenny my Mark. mind is really... <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, so this project was started in 1983 and it was shot on on film at the time it was shot on uh, only black and white film 35mm and some one, 120mm video format so uh, this girl was tiny and uh, on that year I think it was 93 uh, was it you mentioned 83 he was 14 he was 14 going on 21 uh, Tiny's mothers there's a text uh, be- beneath on the photograph so uh, what makes me l- like about this book is about the journey from Tiny bec- from teenage until become more mature having a boyfriend fall in love and uh, getting married having kids and then uh, divorce, divorce remarriage. and remarriage <laughs> and having kids again <laughs> So it's uh it's fascinates me and the the photograph that uh, Mary have look have uh, taken full of emotions and uh it's only black and white so it it's allowed me to focus more on the the person the subject faces emotion the eye contact and those those composition wow this felt perfection so it's a long term project long term project it's a thirty two years worth of photograph. This is about that time, wow. Like, uh, like the photographer uh, dedicate so much of the time to document the family. It's really fascinating. These are some of the photographs. They're all shot in black and white. All shot in black, uh. black and white. So uh, this is Mary, this is tiny. Uh, very big changes from 
from a more skinnier. What type. would you describe the the theme of the of the book? Uh, the theme is more like uh, for me it felt like love and family, so it's like it resonate me a lot because I'm from a single parent family. Uh, I was raised from uh by my mother alone, so uh for me it resonate me because of the, because I felt like I can feel, uh what they went through. Okay. These are some of the photograph. Do you have a favorite photograph in there? Oh, it's a rare photo. Show, show, show the. Because uh, every, every photograph <laughs> in here, is like uh, it's part of the journey. So it's hard to pick one the photograph, but I will try to find but one. If you have to pick one, yeah, yeah. this one. There's so many pages. <laughs> I need to find the. Or the or the photo, the, the photo that, that, you, that like. you you yeah. recreate yourself. That you could recreate some of the po- uh, some of the photo. Yeah. Retreat. While he's finding that photo, I think this book came to us. Mm. Uh, I I think I bought the book. Uh, I put it in the library since uh, three years ago. This book three yeah. years ago. I think oh. I I I'm not sure whether it's still in print or I mean it's still available or it's already out of print. Uh, I think you went and checked this morning, right? Oh uh, yeah. I I mean judging from the price that it's selling uh, now, uh, I, I, I think, think it's probably second hand second hand price. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> it's probably our print, but okay. don't know. You know, mm. uh, and you, yeah. if you guys are interested, maybe you can go and and, and how do I find this book? Is uh, quite interesting because this is from Zondega Library, and I did not look. I did not really flip through it uh, until like three months back. Because uh, judging from this cover, I thought this book is a uh, portrait, like very portrait based. For the books and I'm not really into portrait, very portrait portrait work. But uh couple, three months back then I like can I go try to flip through it and try to understand what this book about. The f- the first page I flipped through is like, oh wow. I really instantly fall in love about this book because uh I like the journey. Because you can sh- you can see by flip by flipping this book you are like flip- you are like flipping thirty two years of life in a book. So you can see like the the more you feel, you can see the how the life changes, the the faces changes, and the age on the faces, and a uh, new life we were born, and uh, getting older and older. And the photographer is also very dedicated yeah, to the project. Very dedicated, uh, yeah. I mean, this is like 30, 30 mm. plus years of work in yeah. a book. Yeah, and uh, Mary Ellen Mark was born in nineteen forties, and what well, he and she passed away in twenty fifteen. So uh, he was an uh, American photojournalist. She was. She was. <laughs> <laughs> American photojournalist and documentary photographer. And uh, he did quite a lot of uh, photo books and exhibition. He have 21 collection of her, of her work published. She so have. She yeah. have. She have. <laughs> 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 All right, let me try to find the f- photo. Because this book has too many photographs for me to look at. Because I'll need, I really like the photo it's a square picture that's a photo oh you still right couldn't here. find I still couldn't find <laughs> just now just now I really see the point but now it's like what's this so photo so it has uh, different formats yeah, so. different formats some medium format some 135 I think it should mostly on her Leica M6 and with the 28 35 with some 50s some, yeah. some white lenses I uh, just really like about the life and uh, yeah like we like the life. So you find your photo yet? Your Not favorite yet. photo? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Oh wow! This was from twenty fourteen. Okay, we we will add it into the video. I'll, I'll add it in the video. Still on. on the fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many images altogether? I think must be more than hundreds. Hundred plus. I think two hundred, maybe two hundred. But this is one of the photo that I like. But it's not the the top one. Because I like yours. Uh, you can see tiny at here and uh, I think. Her daughter and there's a puppy at here, <laughs> a black puppy puppy with silhouette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's very cute. Yeah. So I mean, this book has been sitting. Like I said, you know, this book has been three sitting years. in our library for since three years ago. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah and good that you chance upon it and you resonate mm. with it. Uh, yeah. Right. Tiny. Tiny. Just good. Tiny good. Good. I think hard whoever hard that hard is hard actually uh, come come to our library may pick up yeah. the book and, yeah. and read. Do yeah. do do. Uh, look through the book because uh, it resonates me a lot. A lot. I use this book as a as an inspiration for my Rasa Sayang mm-hmm. project, and 
I keep I every time when I look through this book again, I feel like I'm looking at a new perspective of uh of uh life. Th- thirty plus years of a person yeah. life in a book. Yeah, in a book. Amazing. Yeah, thirty two years. If yeah. two years, yeah. I I think if I'm two years into my work, I already like okay. Oh, this. Boring really. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, fun, a fun fun fact of well, this thirty two years, and Mary did not stay in this family like uh, uh stay together in the uh, in the family like like for whole thirty two years. So uh, he went he went back to this family every year for a couple of weeks or maybe months. Uh, to stay in their house, to uh, like document their life, uh, h- how their life went through. Yeah, dedication to the photographer. Wow, amazing. Nice book. Nice book. Nice book. Right. How How about you, V? Okay, Which uh, one is your most recently picked up, and you know your your that you like to share with the audience? Okay, so uh, for my for me, my recently picked up photo book is the Liam Wong, uh, Tokyo. So the title is somehow like a like a midnight punya uh, hour yeah. <laughs> so oh it's right. well, now you talk about it now I realize it's like yeah, the time like, oh, is, uh, like midnight, okay right? oh, like, you know, 12 okay. 0 0 0 0 yeah. and 0 0 uh, Tokyo midnight. in midnight so this is uh, the book that I recently picked up uh, so I, I kind of drawn into this book is because this book is actually uh has a lot of colors in it and also I I like uh, the photographer itself uh, and their work and his work I mean uh, so this is his uh, first photo book and as you can see some of the the photos are actually some of it like a street cityscape with a playful maybe on the show the audience play, yeah. Yeah, or you like this yeah like this and also architecture so I I, I'm, I like this kind of uh, genre so that's why I uh, somehow refer to this book for not most of my work lah, but some of the colors mm. and also uh, how did I know this book is basically uh, I saw his uh, social media at Twitter like around 20 I can't remember 20 20 dealer but I, I saw that he produced this book lah, who's the photographer again Liam Wong right Liam, yeah. Wong. Liam Wong so Liam Wong is actually a, it's not a photographer uh, he's actually a video game developer mm. uh, he works for Ubisoft then he went to some holiday and took some pictures for mm. holiday but then he got serious about it and he actually became serious about it yeah. so he produced a book yeah. and, and he get quite famous and quite famous and actually <laughs> his photo is actually mm. is very good yeah. he uh, got famous because of the he was already famous when he yeah, was in, doing the in game. the game industry yeah, yeah in the game industry uh, one but of the game that uh, I'm not that a gamer so I don't uh, follow so right. what but his work is quite uh, distinctive like you can see that uh, <laughs> I can see Sega there Sega, <laughs> yeah, Sega and also huh? I can see I mean C- can you show a bit the Sega thing? Ah, yeah. I wow. can see Sega. Okay, uh, <laughs> so it's very Japanese, uh, and also mm. it's uh, he's also from Japan. So most of his photo is uh, seen uh, of uh, Japanese street city mm. and cultures. So but this is primarily Tokyo, la. I mean, as a title, yeah, Tokyo. Yes, uh, a lot, a lot of like what you say, cyberpunk night like yeah. scene. It's very cin- cinematic. And also cinematic. he recreated one of the 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 scene in uh, anime Akira mm. if you know that the the boom thingy yeah. Wait, uh, let me and this book is very cinematic uh, so it's like you are when you're flipping the book you are, you are like you are in the cyberpunk game cyberpunk game that's quite the the, 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 the experience mm. of this book yeah. but I cannot find the photo oh man okay so this is uh, the photo that's the one. Oh wow, oh, wow. So this, this is, is stunning. actually Ooh. like the uh, a scene in Akira where mm. there's an explosion I- inside Tokyo, and also he actually made this uh, uh, with a photo lah, but he manipul- uh, he added some manipulation mm. towards his photo. And how did I know that? Because he showed it at the back of the book. Oh, oh his he behind ma- the scene. So he also showed the behind the scene yeah. and yeah. the making So la. this is actually the the original photo without the explosion. You see, this is how he come up with mm. the final result and he added 
some colors to it. Uh, his signature colors, and he plays oh, wow. along. Wow, this is so unique. Uh, this is one of the 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 one of the the style he wants to do. And then he added the explosion. Ooh. Wow, amazing, amazing. So I I quite uh, amazed on how he uh, wants to sh uh, he interested to share his uh, his work through he would his workflow. It's not like some um, uh, some books just show his work and not his workflow, right? So this guy is actually uh, I I like this book because it goes through along his uh, to the uh, how he make the photo, uh. and also I would suggest this photo a eh, this photo book to anyone who likes uh, architecture or some color plays or some uh, heavy color play on buildings. Yeah, mm, yeah. So it probably will make you try to. Mimic some of the things that he do. Uh, uh, some of it because uh, I like uh, architecture, but some of the street too. Okay, okay lah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but after listening to you, I now understand why you told me that you want to chop yeah. the book. <laughs> uh, really, uh, because also uh, uh, I I never I never come across with this book. I just saw it online or some mm. IG. Then uh, Zotiga happens to have a store or bring it. Bring yeah, the stock bring in. in, yeah. So that's I more. brought I brought a few copies of this. Also, his yeah. recent book. Yeah, after that, uh, after that, yeah. it's a hardcover book. This is yeah. his first one. But this yeah. is the OG. Cover. This is the OG. Uh, this yeah. is the first book. Yeah, uh, yeah but so it's actually. Mm, I mean, a lot of people are looking for yeah. the book, mm, yeah, yeah. and uh, so we sell and, uh, quite and, a few uh, copies and, uh, also. Actually, I did a uh, Google search about he sold uh, a lot of millions of copies or US dollar. Maybe yeah. yeah, I don't know. This but, is the but it's quite popular the book. Mm. That's why uh I mean we brought it in and then I also have people asking for it and mm. it's the second edition, right? Not the, the first. I think this is the second edition. edition. We we brought in the first one mm. we sold, then this is the second mm. second batch that we brought in. And then we also brought in the After Dark, which is the latest book as well. Both are quite sought after uh, by people. Mm. And now after you explaining it to me, uh yeah, I can see why people are sort of gravitated to it you yeah. know? Uh, drawn into it yeah, yeah, it is. yeah I mean what I know is that he's a he's a he's a game designer mm. uh, he's uh, a game may, designer uh, maybe a notorious one and hence people are looking for it but nice work I mean the very you guys I uh, should should look for it yeah. it's yeah. good book yeah. alright so, so my turn uh? it's Mr. Lau's turn <laughs> yeah. so I shared mine Edmund shared his so it's Mr. Lau okay yeah. sure uh well, it's it's. I've been dealing with photo books for quite a number Long of years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I think when we work in John Diga, it's yeah. hard to miss that. You know, there's so many mm. books around us, and every now and then we acquire new books. New books and coming in. Yeah. Some I bought it for the store, and mm. some I actually bought it but oh. didn't bring to the store. <laughs> <laughs> because it's my own collection, so yeah. I I, I have some at home as well. Uh, mm. So today, uh, what I'm going to share it's a book by Daido Moriyama. Uh, I think. It's no stranger to a lot of people uh, who is Daido. Mm, yeah. It's one of the most famous, famous, notorious photographers. You know, mm. like the other guys, like you know, uh, Araki or, or Fukase. He's one of yeah. one, one of the, the the top in in the world. I think he has been his career span across. I mean, he's still, he's still shooting today. Yeah, he's still shooting, which is he's, quite interesting. He's already eighties in in his eighties, and he's mm. still shooting. I think he has been shooting for. Very I mean, you talk about Mary Ellen, yeah. the project, yeah. 30 years, right? Of yeah. course, he, I don't think he has a project that's 30 years. Maybe he has. 80 but years, still uh, holding cameras. Still mm. holding cameras. Yeah. Uh, so he has been shooting like, like 60 passion. plus years. Uh. Amazing, right? Someone that has that passion mm. to go on and passion. keep shooting every day. So the book that I'm going to introduce is a book called Farewell to Photography. Uh, of course, he has many other books. Uh. I did brought along a few others as well, but uh, just to cool. sort of show that I did uh, I'm collecting his books. Uh, so that one that V is holding is Provoke, uh, one of his earlier, or if not the earliest, uh, uh, it's in a zine format where he actually co uh, in a team together with uh, Koji and Takuma and a few others uh, to, as the name suggests, right, Provoke, right? Provoke mm, provocations. Yeah, it's trying to give a new perspective to, to photography like, because back then, when this came out, uh, it's kind of like revolutionized mm, yeah. uh, 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 how people look at photograph. Mm. Right? Uh, in the past, people look at photograph that it has to be in focus, you know, uh, right exposure, right yeah. angle, 
you know, the composition has to be good. Uh, but this group of Japanese photographer, including uh, Daido, was trying to do something different. Right? Mm. So if you look at his work, it's more like out of focus, blurry, super grainy kind, right? So that has been the style of his work, and plus a few other photographers as well. So he has other works like Provoke is one of them. Uh, there is the uh, Hunters uh, and a few others. And why I pick up, this is the book that I picked up most recently. Uh, it has been out of print for a long time and recently reprinted mm, when re-printed. I first heard about it. So I quickly mm, The cover buy it looks up. very, very, very nice. I like the yeah. cover. And, and although it's entirely in Japanese, which I oh, cannot... It's Japanese, not Chinese. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Japanese, which I cannot <laughs> understand. Uh, but, but it doesn't matter. I still buy it anyway, right? Uh, so this book, this work came... This book was published uh, in 1972. I think 50, almost 50 years ago, right? Mm. Uh, and it's amazing that even after 50 years, it's still reprinting. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, that's like awesome. Mm. Uh, and what is significance of this compared to the rest of his works is, I think a lot of people, this is famous, right? You have seen his work, oh. uh, other works. It's more famous work like The Stray Dog and so on yeah. and so forth. But what is what the, food, the images that was actually in these books are actually coming from work that he rejected in the past. Wow. Uh, so this is like the extreme of the extreme. I mean, mm. you talk about blurry, you talk about all oh, focus, you talk about grainy. This yeah. is two, three X of that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So he just picked up some of the photos and then put yeah. it into it. It, it, it was it was like you know initially it was like rejects you know, but at the point at around seventies, early seventies, I think he is also questioning himself, right? What's the purpose of, uh, what's the true meaning of photography, right? I think he also at a pivotal moment of his career and he, he was like questioning, you know, how should photograph be, right? And in yeah. fact, if I'm not wrong, uh, even after he published this one, I think for a period of almost 10 years from the, uh, throughout the 70s, he has very little work. Mm. Then in 80s again, he picked up again. So this is like the last piece of work before he went quiet a little bit and then yeah. he come back so this is like a moment in his career that he's like doing some soul searching and, and mm. so on right? he uh, invested so some of his time to produce it now. yeah yeah. to produce this to, to because I think he was thinking that you know all the work seems to be uh, mm. same same right mm. but well, let's, let's produce something that's different and if you look at all the images uh, we, I think we will put in some mm. in the, yeah. in the so it's it's this two three x of what he, uh, super grainy, mm. uh, super odd angles, yeah, uh, like the raw scans, the raw scan and stuff, right? So uh, in fact, in his own words, right, uh, uh, in one of the interview, I think he said that if, on the hindsight, uh, if he didn't produce this this work mm-hmm. uh, at his current state today, he wouldn't be able to produce the same, mm. right? I think that's sort of resonate me uh, with me because I think you know you have to live the moment right uh, if you want to do something just do it don't wait because after yeah. you pass that opportunity it's not gonna you are not in the same state anymore right uh, and you may not be able to produce the same thing right so this is the book that I like to recommend mm. uh, for people cool. to what's the title you, Mr. what's the title it's called, uh, it's called Farewell Photography Farewell Photography so it's Farewell so he said he basically said I want to beat Farewell to yeah. photography. photography and hence he went quiet for almost mm. like 10 years like, uh, so this is speak speak photo book then yeah. 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 is it still this available to purchase I I don't know about this new reprint I, 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 I bought see. it I bought it like uh, 3 months ago oh uh so I, it's I mean it's not available in Zondiga mm. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. not available in the library. Uh. Yeah, right. yeah, Mister yeah, Mister Lau Lau dropped the source already, so you guys can. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can, can Google and search and find, find and see whether you can buy it, la, Right, yeah. I think it's if you are a fan of Dido, uh, mm. this is one book that you should collect. Yeah, uh, and it's while well, it's still available, uh, go go and. Google it and search for it and, and see if you can buy it. Nano right. photograph always have this uh, uh, magical that you uh, you always want to flip, flip, keep flipping, keep flipping, yeah. keep flipping. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, like the next page is always something. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my selection. Mm. Uh, that's a nice book, Mister Lau. Uh, very nice yeah. book. The the cover as well. It's very simple. 
It's very simple. I mean, in fact, this is the jacket. You know what is inside is like. Oh my! It's a pure white. Yeah, it's pure white. Pure white. Yeah. yeah. The design. I also like the design of it. Very Japanese. Yeah. I like the kanji. The kanji mm. as the as the cover. It's very cool. So this is Nim. Yeah, Sensan Dado. Daido Moriyama. And then this is Shashin, which is photograph. Photogra yeah. Photograph. Right. Photography. Mm. And this is I think I guess it's fair about yeah. I can't read, right? So this is uh, this one the photograph and this is his Dado Moriyama in You're a Japanese, Japanese right? You're a Japanese right? Read it. Uh 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 Watashi <laughs> <laughs> okay, We it? we have a lot of Japanese book in yeah, our library as in well. Our library. Uh and nice. Uh, I don't know when is this going to be released on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, there's just something like Akan Datang, just to Can share you all. Yeah. Uh, mm, yeah. We are planning a Japanese photo book exhibitions. Yes. Uh, stay tuned for it. Uh, maybe when this came out, it's, it's, <laughs> already, it's already announced. Already, it's already already announced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so, announced. Yeah. Mm. Uh, stay tuned with, for our updates. Yeah. It's the Japanese photo book exhibitions. It's a very uh, big one. Well, so I, everyone, I, I everyone, I everyone so does everyone have to wear a kimono? Yeah. kimono. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we, we, are invite, we have invited a publisher from Japan, uh, Japan yeah. to come yeah. in, yeah, yeah to, to give a to give a talk as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm. Okay, that's gonna be cool. All so right. We're gonna learn Japanese. Mm. Mm. So I so I think that thank you everyone for sharing your thoughts and interests. Yeah. Uh, about your recently mm. picked up photo books, yeah, and Edmund with the Mary Ellen Mark, tiny is it? Uh, tiny, tiny, tiny and, wise, and yours is the is Liam Wong Tokyo, Liam Tokyo. Yeah. and Mr. Lau's farewell to Fair photography, Daido uh, uh, yeah. yeah. mm. Moriyama. Yeah. So it's quite interesting that uh, uh, three of us gave out three different photo books that we uh, recently picked up and that True. recently that we really likes. Mm. Yeah. So three different style of photo books. So some of these books are available uh, at Zontiga Library. So mm. just come if you want to have a look or for this browse, you can browse, yeah. but some of these are not available. Uh. So yeah. this one, uh, uh, for this is not available. Yeah. The so Liamo Tokyo, they still have one copy available. Well, I mean, if if yeah. you guys want to see this book, you know, if you can't find it online, you know, maybe can message you us, you know, maybe you we can, can arrange for You can maybe DM yeah. Mr. Lau. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You hello, got the hello. You can get the source room. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, take take care of the book. Uh, it's white color, so it can it can be dirty. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> have to have the safety <laughs> precaution. Wrap, wrap, put the wrap. So we uh, share ours. I think maybe. Uh, I mean, for the viewers, right? Yeah. yeah so we share ours. Uh, recently, for uh, picked up photo book. So mm. uh, have you recently picked up any photo book, or you want to share with us? Uh, share us in the comment, and if you like the video. Mm. Please uh, don't forget to like. Yeah, please like, subscribe, and, and comment. Comment. Yeah. So awesome. that's all. That's all, and we'll see I you. I think we'll see you in the next, next video. video. See you in the next in video. video. Zone one, zone one, zone two, zone out. Oh. <laughs> zone out. He's the only one out out of the zone. Now. We are inside the zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>